So it can be applied to every realm of life. Um, you know, um, everyone's moving and traveling. You know, lang- astrology can be used to help people relocate. You know, this is an area I focus on called astrolocality or relocation astrology. You know, um, to help you harmonize with a place or to find a place that will support your intentions. I mean, this is very huge today when everyone's migrating everywhere, looking where should I be, 2012 or any other time period. So we can use astrology for that purpose. Um, We can use it as a way of embodying the archetypes. That's what we teach in the Shaka Shalaji dance, or when we dance out the signs, or astro drama, ways of playing with archetypes and energies and seeing oneself reflected through other people, but through movement, right? So there's there's movement that can be a teacher with astrology. it, it really can play into so many realms. You can map your, your, your personal cycles with the sun and the moon with this language. Meaning, where's my emotional body going to be for a few days? What house is it going to? You know, where is the sun going to be? Well, that's an area of life that's being radiated by the life force. And if you pay attention to that position of the sun, you have the, the life force behind you and you can really harmonize with that. Sometimes we'll actually be doing the opposite. We'll be trying to put our life force into an area where the sun is opposite. And, and then we're going against nature cycles. So for me, the language of astrology is really about harmony. And again, as above, so below. So it's a kind of song that we're singing. I'm really passionate about sharing this language with te- teacher, uh, teachers and parents. Because the sooner a parent and a, a teacher can learn the the structure of, of a child's birth chart and their code of their soul. You know, what is their evolutionary story? What did they come to do? What is their intent here? How best can they learn? What's their emotional body like? We can really more efficiently evolve. That's my feeling. And, um, and empower ourselves. So uh, there's so many um, realms we could talk about from the macrocosmic, which is more of mundane astrology, politics, world affairs. You can study the cycles of earthquakes, you know, volcano eruptions. You can study everything from that to um, very specific things. We can look at asteroids in your chart. You know, there's thousands of asteroids. And they tell very, very specific mythologies that are circulating through you in your life experience that will reflect such specific energies that the the amount of humility you experience in recognizing that there's this divine design at play. So for me, astrology has turned into really a path of devotion and worship. And there's nothing more that that proves the existence and experience of God um, and Goddess to me than this language of the stars. And so it's completely religious and yogic and, um, and spiritual. And when you integrate it into your life, you can feel yourself really connecting with the whole of the cosmos. And it's a very mystical experience.